Hi, my name is Jeff DeWeese, and I'm the Chief Investment Officer at Oric Capital Partners. Today, we're going to talk about embedded capital gains. The idea is that embedded or unrealized capital gains can discourage selling, which in turn can sustain inflated stock prices. For the discussion today, we'll be talking about non-retirement accounts. When an investor owns a stock that is depreciated, selling it triggers a capital gains tax. The larger the gain, the larger the tax bill. Because that tax is only paid at realization, there is an incentive to defer the sale or not sell to avoid or delay paying tax. Now imagine if many investors act this way. The supply side of the market is constrained. Fewer shares are offered for sale, which can help keep prices higher than they otherwise would be. Thus, for stocks where many holders have very large unrealized gains, the cost of selling is high, so fewer holders will do so. That reduces the downward pressure on price, helping sustain higher valuations. In a market when there are more sellers than buyers for a stock or anything for that matter, the price goes down. The opposite is also true. More buyers than sellers, the price goes up, and that's where we find ourselves now. This is the type of financial conundrum. Embedded gains create inertia against selling, which can help sustain overvalued or elevated prices. A few conditions make this conundrum more potent. Over the years, many stocks have appreciated dramatically. That means many investors now have huge embedded gains, making the lock-in effect stronger. To compound the issue, we have relatively low returns on safer assets. Currently, one to three year treasuries are paying around three and a half percent. In this environment, investors may prefer to keep high return risky assets, even if they're overpriced, further reducing the willingness to sell. Investors hate paying taxes and dislike regret, even if the fundamentals suggest to trim, behavioral biases such as loss aversion and inertia strengthen the hold. Although the embedded gains lock-in effect is real, it's not an ironclad guarantee of overvaluation forever. Holding too large a position in one stock is risky. At some point, the risk of a big drop may outweigh the tax cost, forcing sales. This could feed upon itself as the price drops and gains shrink all of a sudden the tax bill doesn't sound so bad. At Auric, we view rebalancing, which results in trimming large gain positions, as prudent for the long-term health of the portfolio. There are ways to mitigate some of the taxes that will be owed. Investors can spread realization over years, sometimes staying within favorable tax brackets, or at least creating capital gains budgets to lessen the tax pain. Losses elsewhere in a portfolio can offset gains, making it more palatable to sell the winners. This can be maximized by tax loss harvesting, which is best done in a methodical and consistent process. I've talked about the tax loss harvesting in previous videos, so please take a look for a refresher on this one. There are also exchange funds and donor advised funds that may fit in with an overall financial plan. In summary, the avoidance of capital gains tax may be helping to support a higher stock market in the near term. As mentioned, there are ways to mitigate some of that tax bite. I recognize that few investors enjoy paying taxes, but it is a sign of success, not failure. As always, stay calm, stay diversified, and stay positive. From all of us at Oric Capital Partners, we wish you all a great day.